What's up guys, it's Rob Anderson with Dollar Moves and today I am in my, I don't want to make you out, the Dollar House and we are finished up here. Um, want to take you around the house and let you see what all we've done. Um, as you can see right here probably, we painted all the wood paneling. Except, oh don't go over there too soon cameraman, don't want to show them too much. Some of these we kept like this, um, you can back up just a little bit and show. We kept some of the wood paneling to give it sort of... Um, some contrast of the colors so we kept these guys we also kept this if you remember seeing this in the before so that for the contrast but it looks really good um we ended up doing new lights here throughout and updated it gave it that brush you know brushed aluminum look that it has the floors have all been um shampooed and carpeted or excuse me shampooed and um vacuumed a bunch so looks way good i wish i would have taken more video of the carpets coming through but i was so just disgusted by it that i really didn't want to show it off and now it came up so much that i wish i would have so we'll go ahead and go through here we did keep some of these there's only so much that you can do but as you'll you'll see through this we did a lot of upgrades i wish we would have got new handles but go ahead and follow me down the hallway here like this is so much brighter now right you can see the new lights in there and kind of see down below I don't want you to see too far in there though um, on this door here can you see the door we went ahead and painted this door it was all super dirty kind of yellowy dingy looking but it turned out really good down below here you can see this guy was a smoker so there's some like burn marks in the carpet this was all really black and this was black but for what it was it came out really good Let's go ahead and show you into the kitchen here, or excuse me, the bathroom here. I wouldn't want to cook food in here. So in here, we went ahead and we painted. These walls here were like this yellow sort of wallpaper stuff that was just gross. We did a really bright white to just really brighten it up in here. That was one of the things about this house. Everything felt dingy, dark, and dirty, right? So we wanted to make it feel clean and, and bigger, and that really did that here. We cleaned up these, they were already there, and we didn't think that uh, for the light fixtures, we didn't think that those were going to look good, but they actually turned out really nice. The toilet's nice and clean, everything's good and clean, this looks good. You know, I mean, this shirt could be updated, it's a 1973 mobile home, so it's super good. We went ahead and got a new shower curtain rod here, nice and white again, we're going with that clean theme, right? A new, um, new curtain, new rod. We put a new head on here because the other one was just kind of gross looking. One of the cool things about this house, it already had a new washer. This is that plastic, it says please remove plastic coating. Came with it, like even if we just sold the washing machine, we wouldn't make our money back, right? But anyway, so it comes with washer, dryer, everything's been cleaned up, with the counters and everything. There's so much storage space in here. Actually, come over this way and you can just show. Now over here, there's even more storage space in there. So really cool. And let's keep on going down the hallway. So now down the hall, behind here there's a furnace, but this place it's already got um, a brand new air conditioner and heater in it. So um, we aren't using the furnace. Don't even know if it really works. Hopefully it's a ductless heating is what we have now. Hopefully these people don't care. Um, the guy who lived here before, it's now February the 5th today. And the guy who had that put in, it was in December. So it's brand, brand new. That's another thing that could be just sold instantly, make our money back. Come on in and check out the old or the small bedroom. So the small bedroom, we got the floors are all shampooed, vacuumed. This one was not, um, this was not the wood paneling in here. They had already painted it. But we went ahead and went over the paint one more time. We got the closets. It's got a cool little nook area. And uh, one of the other things that we did as well, all of the lights and the, the plug-ins and the lights, we got new ones. So, so again, with the white, and it really just makes it look clean. So all the way through, and then the new lights again, super bright. Oh, another thing, energy efficient light bulbs. So they're, they're like equivalent to 75 watts, I think. These ones might be 60. I think we might have went with a little softer for in the bedrooms but it's they're really bright and they're like no electricity so and the other cool thing about the heater um the heat pump like air conditioner that came with this place the guy went from paying like a hundred dollars a month for electricity and w when he had a furnace but once he got the the heat pump thing in it was forty dollars a month and so we went through put all different light bulbs in here that are high energy efficiency so 
This is going to cost nothing for whoever moves in here. But let's go ahead and check out the living room. So in here, we really like made everything super bright. It looks super good. Did paint over everything, painted these guys. Left this just for a little bit of contrast again. We took off the ugly blinds that were in here and just we're going to leave it so whoever comes in here, they're going to get whatever, whatever they want to put in there. The wall sconces over here, they look really nice again. And we kept the, um, we kept everything going with the same look, right? So, so all the wall sconces are the same. We got, these were both, um, the whole room was wood paneling, it was nasty. And this was like one of the only things, this and there's a little wall over here, I'll show you in a minute, that were the only things that were white in here. And we thought they looked so good until we painted over them and it was like, oh my gosh, it was so much brighter. So again, this room feels bigger, it feels clean. When we first came in here, everything in here was just gross. But now again, we got all of the plugins and everything, they all are brand new looking. Um, you walk into here, there's a little bar here. This was so nasty, like so much of this house was nasty when we came in. This has all been cleaned up. Again, this was under here, this was wood paneling. And so dark wood paneling, it just made everything look really like a, like a cave, like a dungeon almost. But this really brightens it up and it makes the room big. Uh, if you come into here, we went ahead and left some of the wood stuff um, for a contrast again. So the front door, these two doors here, we got all new covers for everything. Um, lots of storage space actually. There's a storage closet here with all of our implementations of cleaning, another storage closet with the stuff we're going to take home. And then if you come around here, there's one more. Oh, one of the things we did as well is these handles here. They were the, the ugly yellow plastic kind, like in the bedrooms that we had. So I wish we would have made all of the all of the uh, door handles like this, but we didn't. But you can see this is one other, a big closet that goes back there. Uh, more cleaning stuff because, dude, this place was nasty. So we went ahead. This is all cleaned up. Beautiful green sink is still there. <laughs> um, one of the things we did, so I was talking about the yellow wallpaper in the bathroom. It looked like this and I wish now that we would have painted this because all of this back here is a bright white now see you can see the contrast like this is in the living room area and all the rest of the house and in the bathrooms and in the kitchen we went with a bright white to really just make it clean look nice so all this is a bright white it matches with the new this is a new range like it's not that old we painted the hood and the hood was like that same green color um, so it just, it looks so much nicer and so much more inviting. Um, we still need a fridge. Whoever comes in here is going to have to get their own fridge or if, uh, if they pay retail, we'll put a fridge in for them. But come on into this room. <laughs> so in this room, um, again, this room was painted some. These walls here on the opposite side of the room, this was, um, this was the wood paneling and it had like these white dots on it. I think from them taking off the, uh, the wallpaper. And so it just looked really hideous, but we went ahead and painted that, kept all of the cabinetry the same way. Not only is it like less work for us, but it's just, it's got a nice contrast. Uh, went ahead and painted all around here. Here is the air conditioner and heater, and it's got an, it's got a remote control. It's super good. It's, it keeps the house so warm or cold and it's instant, super nice. Um, if you look at this wall, if you come over here, we've got some stuff. This is kind of our break room actually right now. So um, it's the only room that has any of our stuff now. But this wall here had a bunch of, I believe I made in that video, there was a bunch of like staining and stuff down here and down in here. So this looks super good. Everything's gone there. We've got nice good plugins here. And so that's it. If you look down this hallway though, like look out here, like this house looks so nice now. It's so inviting. Whereas before, that hallway was scary, dude. It was like exorcist stuff. It was super dark and gross. And like, now it's like a cool house that you could like, you'd be happy to live in. One other thing, before we get off of here, we did paint the faces of these cabinets that were already painted uh, before white. But we went with that bright white again, just to make it look clean and good. Clean off all the handles of everything because everything you touched in here was gross. These guys up here, we went with some new, some new knobs on this, but that's just kind of some of the different, you know, things that we had. Oh, one other thing I wanted to show you. So this light fixture, we were like, what are we going to do with this thing? When we came in, 
all it was was just these like five places to put light bulbs. These right here were not here. There was no glass or anything. And we were just like, and you see that? You see how it moves? Like when you touch it, I was just like, I'm not changing that. I'm not doing anything. That's like mobile home hacks and it's not happening. You know what I mean? I'm not an electrician. And so I thought, you know, what if we got these these um, pieces of frosted glass to put on there to just make it look nicer. We put those on and we are super happy with the way that works. And now it just looks super nice in here, all energy efficient light bulbs. So we're super stoked. And now we're to that point where we're getting ready to put this place on the market today. We're going to sit down, write the ad. We got some killer pictures. We're beyond happy about it. Oh, and the, the all of the carpets everywhere have been shampooed. Everything looks nice and bright. Um, the house smells good, like like this place is ready to move into. In fact, every surface that was not painted, um, we've cleaned it. So whoever gets this house, it's gonna be moving ready. They can walk in with their stuff, put it in the room that they want and be ready to rock and roll. So again, this is the house, see that? Because you know, in a mobile home, you can hear outside pretty easy. But that's what this is and uh, we are expecting to make a good amount of money and I'm gonna actually cut this video off Tell me in the comments below, how long do you think it went on the market for? We don't know yet, because we really truly have not put it up there. How long do you think we put it on the market for? How much do you think we did it for? Now this is a 55 and older park, so it can only be sold to someone who is 55 or older. Um, how much do you think that we, that we put it out there for? How much do you think we got? And how long do you think it was on the market? Put the information down below, let us know, and I'll make another video where I come in, I'll tell all the money we spent to rehab it, um, what we were into it, how much time we spent on it, and how long it was on the market, and how much it eventually ended up selling for. Um, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was super fun. Um, you know, we spent quite a bit of time and we learned a whole lot of stuff, but it's been a super cool thing. And now, um, you know, now it's like put it out there and see how it does. So thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like what you saw, please go ahead and like, comment down below all the stuff that we said previously. Um, and if you enjoy this, subscribe and you will see all the videos. Hit the bell button. You'll see all the videos that I put out in the future. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.